Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I will show you what I picked up since the last video I made. So I didn't even realize how much I picked up since uh, then until I put it together for this video. I have some Criterion pickups. I have some um, ordering from Amazon, um, eBay. Uh, we went to a road trip and I picked up a couple movies during the road trip um, and some um, movie store finds, a couple Walmart and Target, Big Lot, so a whole lot. So let's get started and I take a sip of my coffee. Also I collect the Starbucks You Are Here mugs. Today I'm featuring Charlotte. Unfortunately, in the U.S. they don't do the "you are here" style anymore, so I'm heartbroken. But I was lucky to collect a lot of those while they were in production. So let's get started. First movie, uh, movies I would like to you to show that I picked up during the Criterion sale. My one of my most um, one movie that most interested me and I really wanted to pick up this time was Rebecca Alfred Hitchcock's Rebecca this was the first movie that he made in the US I believe and <clears throat> I want I wanted to pick up this uh, title many times before um, and I went to physical store stores and either day they didn't have it or the store that had it had big puncture on it so now I'm happy that I was able to pick up uh, Rebecca and since I since since I've been picked this up I watched it and I absolutely loved this movie it's from um, 1940 but the way it's done the suspense the, the characters and of course, a big Hitchcockian twist at the end. It's just amazing. The cinematography is amazing. One thing was a little bit hard about this movie for me, but I think my husband agreed also that sometimes they, they talked so fast. So I really had to concentrate, like had to put extra, extra effort to it to make sure that I'm understanding what they are saying but amazing movie I loved it the next movie I picked up is the pen's labyrinth I've heard so many great things about this movie uh, great works of Guillermo del Toro and uh, since then I watched the movie and I really liked it and it was a little bit weird but it was beautifully enchanting depressing atmospheric um, it's definitely worth to pick up so pan's labyrinth and it doesn't come with the big booklet like the others just like a little pamphlet let me show you what Rebecca Rebecca come Rebecca's heavy comes with a nice big booklet and comes with I think it is, it is just the Blu-ray, comes with so many extra materials in a thick, thick booklet. So this is definitely an amazing pickup. I'm so happy for, for this. And the third one and last one I picked up is Rosemary's Baby. I haven't watched this movie on the Criterion Edition yet, but I've watched this movie before and it's so creepy. And um, I love how slowly it builds up and it just goes from everyday life to something creepy. I, I really like those type of movies when, when it starts like just an everyday life. Everybody's doing their own little things and then something starts to feel off. Yep. And this one comes, comes with a big booklet as well. So one blu-ray and a big booklet beautiful artwork on the blu-ray as well 
I like this poster a lot. When they made the movie Mother with Michelle Pfeiffer, um, maybe two years ago, they had a very similar poster for that movie and a lot of people thought that that's gonna be the continuation of um, Rosemary's Baby. Um, and it, it really wasn't, but that was a great, um, a great uh, um, thing to do, to make that poster look like this. What's the word I'm looking for? Great marketing. Alright, so that's all for my criterions. They are very pricey. I have a long list of criterions I would like to get, but um, maybe on the next sale. Especially Black Friday is coming up, so well, I'll, I'll wait. I picked up a couple of titles, uh, uh, two DVDs, one is Ghost Ship with this amazing lenticular slipcover and of course it's a snap case, so I, I told you guys before I love snap cases, so especially if it's in a good condition. Snap cases just have great artwork and you have to take care of them because they are uh, paper but this lenticular is worth it it's amazing the movie itself i really like the first half of it first until up to the three quarter of movie and then the end was kind of rushed and I don't know, I didn't um, enjoy the ending so much. But otherwise it's just a good movie for Halloween. My other movie that I picked up is um, Batman Returns with Michelle Pfeiffer. I'm planning on pick up, picking up the 4K with the slipcover. Um, whenever it will be a lower price, maybe on Black Friday. But I'm collecting Michelle Pfeiffer movies uh, and special editions, and it's definitely a very awesome edition. It has the original movie poster on it with Michelle Pfeiffer on it because I don't have the Blu ray because it doesn't feature Michelle Pfeiffer on the Blu ray, it just has that Batman symbol. So I didn't pick it up and in Hungary where I'm from I have another version of Batman Returns already so I didn't need a new one but the uh, snap case is beautiful in this one. I found this at uh, the thrift store and it's in perfect condition. They have, they had Batman and Robin on. Somebody's just got rid of their Batman Snapcase collection and they were in meticulous condition. It's amazing. So it's, it's just like brand new. All right. Um, let's see. Let's see what else I found in um, movie stores slash thrift stores. Um, in the same thrift store, I found Batman Returns, I found Tinkerbell and the Great Fairy Rescue with this beautiful slipcover. Look at that shine, amazing. And it was unopened since then I opened it, so great pickup for like, it was I think $2.99. I mean, when can you get a Disney movie that cheap brand new? with the slipcover. Amazing. Also at the same place I picked up Rise of the Planet of the Apes and this one has a texture and it's kind of embossed in a way then the nose sticks out textured like skin. It had really bad stickers on it. I had Hard time. I'm. I call myself a sticker whisperer. Otherwise, because 
because I'm pretty good at taking off stickers of the movies. But this movie gave me hard time. I don't like, I like to keep the stickers if I can inside, but I don't like to disturb the cover with the stickers, so I like to get them off. Especially when this one was like at it came into his mouth, almost touched his eyes, so no. But beautiful slipcover. Shiny. I love when they they have something extra and this matte finish, textured like skin and it's embossed. Awesome. Haven't watched the movie. Or no no no, I've seen this movie. Yes, this is when when the monkey grows up. Yeah, this is a pretty um, interesting story. I really like origin stories, so this is one of those. Um, also at the same store, I got Godzilla with the slipcover. I love that thrift store. I don't know where they got their movies, but they are always in great condition, usually with the slip. And I haven't watched this yet, but I would like to watch it because uh, I'm interested in the uh, other Godzilla movie, Godzilla King of Monsters, so, yep, I picked up this, um, in a different movie store, I picked up Surrogates, Bruce Willis, beautiful, look at that slip, they used to make amazing slips, just like this, this, this one, this edition is, um, an older edition, when, Blu-ray was really new when they they put a lot of effort in making these Blu-rays, right? Yep. Had this art, little pamphlet with other movies. This one doesn't have an inside artwork. Not the eco case. Nice sturdy case. A lot of them has inside artwork from this era as well. And Bruce Willis is one of my favorite male actors. So, or actors, <laughs> I don't know why I say male. So, Bruce Willis is one of my favorite actor, actors, and I like to collect almost all of his movies. Although lately, he's he's been in really silly, sad movies. So, this is a good, good thriller, sci-fi. So, I'm happy to pick that up. And the last one I picked up at a um, thrift store is, oh no, this is from a movie video game store, Total Recall. Also on some strip, slip cover, this is like um, extended director's cut, has extra features. That's this old, yes, and this one has um, inside artwork, special features disc. I just love how they did these discs back then. I'll miss, I, I'll always miss that. I don't know if they ever gonna get back to that. <sighs> oh well, that's why I love Criterion. Criterion still does that sort of thing. And also that's why I go back to snap cases. I know the video quality isn't the best, but for collecting purposes and display and just looking at the movie and artwork and snap cases and good for that. All right, next, um, I quick show this. This is my only pickup from Walmart, $5 bin, Automata with Antonio Banderas. This is like a sci-fi also. Um, one of my favorite sub genre is dystopian future movies and robot movies and this one fits fits that mold so I was really excited to pick this up I since watched it um, it starts out really great but I wasn't so satisfied with the ending so it was a good watch though I, I would watch it again if I'm in the mood but it is it is not the best of that genre but it's definitely worth the pick up. Alright. I picked up... I don't know. I picked up Bad Words. This was a part of the Dollar Tree sale. And I realized it later. I picked this up at Big Lots. It was 
I think dollar twenty five, so a dollar fifty. We watched this not long time ago with my husband, and it is hilarious. It we really like this movie, so it's definitely worth the price. Although I should have picked up a dollar tree because at Big Lots it's kind of a beat up copy of this movie. Hmm. Oh well, I still have it. I ordered some things from um online i ordered three titles from amazon i ordered the minions it was 3.99 and uh, at the time when i ordered it so for that price we my husband and i really enjoyed the despicable me movies so for 3.99 we'll give our minions a chance but we don't watch it yet <coughs> And I ordered Stepmom in the Deep End of the Ocean double feature by Mill Creek. I really wanted the Deep End of the Ocean um, in my initial Pfeiffer collection and I also really like Stepmom. And I know that Stepmom, the only way you can have it on Blu-ray is is um, on demand printing by, by the company and those discs aren't um, as good quality as true blu-ray although i don't know what they did because it's in a single disc two movies at least it's not an equal case um and i have the dvd of deep end of the ocean from hungary which has 5.0 sound when i put this on a couple days ago to watch it this one only has um Dolby Digital, maybe 2.0 or 2.1 or 3.0. I don't, I don't know. I know that it's not surround. It's just the front speakers. So that's kind of interesting. I would like to do a comparison, side by side comparison with the DVD and the Blu-ray. Maybe this is just a, just like an upscale from the DVD. I don't know. The stepmom has 5.1 Dolby digital so i'm still happy to have this in my collection both movies i like i prefer this one would be separate for my michelle pfeiffer collection which i'm planning on making a video of my michelle pfeiffer collection one day so yeah and the last movie i ordered is raising arizona now disney purchased fox and this is one of those movies that's um going to be taken by disney the first sign was that if you have voodoo you're familiar with the disc to digital prog program uh, when you have the movie you can scan the barcode and you can get the digital copy for two dollars and this movie used to belong to that program but now it's taken off so i'm suspecting that this movie is going to out going out of print and disney is gonna revamp it and and uh, put it under under their distribution and it's gonna be more expensive never seen the movie i'm really interested in it so i'll watch it sometime i ordered one title off of ebay i had a three three dollar off coupon so i like to utilize those coupons and i got 2012 this amazing edition that you cannot get it in stores with the slip cover very thick as you see Let's see the inside yep it's those good old blu-ray editions that i love look at that nice sturdy case it doesn't have to be anything spectacular but this little bit of inside artwork makes all the difference it's just a beautiful presentation. Disc art. You've got the special features, the digital copy, and uh, and the Blu-ray. I like these old editions. I also really like disaster movies, so I like to collect all the good disaster movies so i 
picked up one title from Best Buy. I had a um I got an name I got an email about a mystery coupon. I had to go into the store, scan it and see it it was like from five dollars to five thousand dollar coupon. So well of course I got the five dollar coupon. So I got tombstone with that five dollar coupon. This is uh, one of my husband's one of my favorite movies of his so I got this so we can watch it. Um let's see. Alright. So we went on our road trip. We stopped at Walmart for um just using the bathroom and um getting some gas and I found my neighbor Totoro with the slip cover for a very good price. I don't collect all Studio Ghibli movies, but I like to collect some of them. This is a very charming one in my opinion and this one was a very special edition because it came not just with the little booklet. Let me show you. All of these editions come with little booklets. And also, um, G Kids, that's the um, distributor or um, company that makes these editions, are one of my favorites because they also always almost include a little booklet. They have disc art and they have background art so this is one of the few companies that still do this sort of things that's still uh coming out with editions like this editions with love and care not just getting getting the discs out to the public to buy i am not thrilled about for, uh 4k editions they come in a black case so eliminating the possibility of background art they usually don't have this card or sometimes they do the special editions because they keep the, this card for um for best buy exclusives or these exclusive editions so i like these blu-ray editions and it came with the original movie poster how awesome is this i love it Japanese, beautiful. I, I just like this gloomy and atmospheric poster. So I was really happy to pick this up randomly in our road trip, on our road trip. <clears throat> and with the slipcover, I think it's very rare find this edition the problem is that this poster is higher than the than this little metal um, plastic piece and it pushes against so I'm putting it back very carefully together And on our road trip, we went to a store called Meyer. Uh, it's a it's a big store like Walmart, but um, less um, popular, I guess, or not everywhere. They don't have it everywhere. It's like Walmart or Target. They kind of have everything. Um, and I found a movie that I've been looking for forever. Although I could have just ordered it online, but. I don't know, there is something charming about finding it in the wild. wild. <laughs> I found Robin Williams' Bicentennial Man. I love this movie. Why there isn't a Blu-ray edition? Why? I have no clue. I want to make a video about what 
movie titles needs to be on Blu-rays. Like this is one of them. So many crappy movies are on Blu-ray and beautiful movies like this isn't. So I found this <coughs> in the wild. Um, it's a kind of echo case. This is between a normal case. It's pretty flimsy and an echo case. I'm okay with that plain disc. Hmm. Since watched the movie and enjoyed it very much. This is a long movie, but it doesn't feel like that long, so I really like it. And then while we were come we were driving home, I looked into my uh emails and Blu-ray forums and I realized that Big Lots is just giving away a free movie. So we had to stop and I have a lot of movie already from movies already from Big Lots. So that I want. Um, so we stopped that one big lots and I picked out Madagascar Europe's most wanted for, for my free movie. The cashier didn't even know that it was free movie um, giveaway that weekend. Big lots does this with their reward members that every weekend give, <clears throat> give away something and that weekend was um, a movie. So I picked this up. I like the first Madagascar a lot. I never seen the second or the third one. And um, between the two, I'm more interested in the third one because I'm from Europe and I'm curious what kind of European things they put in this movie. So um, I'm happy, happy to have this. Let's see what else. Um, all right, and yesterday, um, I went to Target to pick up some things and I wasn't even gonna go buy the movies because Black Friday is coming, I have to keep myself calm until it comes, I didn't want to buy anything, but I wanted to check out the Funko Pops because I collect Funko Pops also, surprise, <laughs> and I walked just past the aisle and I saw this sale sign by the Disney aisle 1499 or 95 <sighs> one Disney title that I don't have and I was planning on picking up on Black Friday if it's gonna be one of the Black Friday titles this is the Target exclusive of 101 Dalmatian I didn't open up and I'm not planning to open, open it up until Black Friday is over because if I'm gonna find this title cheaper than $14.95 even if it's not the Target edition I'm gonna pick it up and bring this back but I could not pass up on this deal it's like half off this is a $30 title I'm not crazy about this edition I think it's very rushed there wasn't a lot of thought put into it. It comes only with the storybook. And uh, the artwork isn't as great. And there is no embossing. Tar Target spe special editions never have the embossing. So that kind of puts me off a little. I like when this little stamp is embossed. So it's a, it's a very neat addition i see an unboxing of it so i'll be happy to keep this but if it's gonna be under 15 dollars for example at walmart i'm gonna pick it up the regular version and i bring this back so and dollar general is having a sale this week buy one get one free movies and it's only on the 4.95 titles so um that's kind of tricky because now they have a lot of 395 titles. Um, I picked up a pair of movies. One was 395 and one was 495 and the cashier was kind enough to ring it rang it up like two 495 so I could get the discount. Because I said if if not, I'm just gonna buy one of them, which was this one. This was the 395 title. I've been looking for this movie. So my, it was on my Amazon wish list. It was always ten dollars, 
for more and I've always looked for um, I've always wanted to find a good deal on it I love this movie it's just made in a way that's intriguing and, and very stylish atmospheric as you can tell I really love atmospheric movies that has like a gloomy atmosphere yeah it's a little bit weird because it was repackaged I always hate when when it gets marked like that I think it's from the heat when they repackage it so oh well at least it's not punctured I saw the movie Outbreak I really wanted to pick that up but that was a beat up copy it was punctured it was very badly heated and it had all wrinkles on it so no, and my other movie pickup was this was the 495 titles is Bedding Crashers. This is a classic comedy. My husband likes it as well. Um, I don't think I have enough comedies in my collection because it's so hard to find comedies that I find funny. I think everybody's um, taste in comedies are different. It's it's uh, humor is one of those things that. Um, very different in people what they find funny so i have to expand my comedy collection and this is a good title to have i like this so that's all folks yes it's a lot more than i thought and i can't wait for black friday you will see my black friday pickups I'm very excited. I made a list. So, Black Friday, here I come. See you next time.